Whenever you're making a new design, the first thing you need to do is create a board outline. Or CADX gives you a couple of ways to do that. The most straightforward way is under the ECO menu, you can choose to draw a design outline. Then you're given a application mode where you can select what kind of outline you want to draw. Typically, this might be some sort of polygon, whereas you can draw the polygon with a nice heads up display showing you the length and the angle of every segment you're drawing. Notice that you can easily switch between these different types of drawing modes using the Q key. So if you want to have like an indented arch like that, you can do that and then you're back to drawing with a line. Once you're in this line mode, notice the shortcut tip also gives you an A key where you can do angle locking. So now I'm locking on 45 degree angles, now I'm locking on 90 degree angles, or you can go back to any angle mode. Also note that when you're drawing, how you get those nice indicators of when you're reaching another vertice in another line. And if I were to put, let's say, a line here at a 45, and then come over here at this angle, then notice how that other line turns color to show you that you're also parallel to that other existing line. So with these capabilities, you can very easily draw in a board outline to suit your needs. And then note, once the board outline is drawn in, it automatically is gonna create a conductor keep in and a component keep in for you. And then you can easily modify those values if you want to make those a little bit smaller or change those. Once you have a design with a board outline, you can also any, at any time select the board outline and you may want to change that to something else. Maybe you want to just reconvert that back to a basic square. So you could do that and then you have a basic square board outline. Or you can use the import option to import an outline from an IDX file. So if you have a mechanical design file that has a whole bunch of stuff in it, you can point to an IDX file here. Also back under the ECO menu, you can choose all these different types of inputs like MCAD X import, if you have your board outline designed in SOLIDWORKS or IDX or DFX import, all of which allows you to select that import defined in a mechanical tool and map different shapes to a board outline. 